Hey Cardinals fans, welcome back here to Cardinal Hoops, where we have a fun, exciting season plan for you. And we're going to get it started by looking all the way back to last weekend's game when UIW played the Wildcats. Valerie, how'd the women's game go? Well, Chris, the women's team played against Abilene Christian here at home. But unfortunately, UIW fell short 86-71. to Cardinal shot 44% from the field and made 5 of the 19 from the 3-point range and shot 14 of the 18. Erica Adams balled out with a lead of 18 points and had three steals. And Quincy Baker had 15 points and nine rebounds. After the first half, ACU continued the lead with 44 to 34. The Cardinals outscored the Wildcats 18 to 15 in the third quarter, but in the fourth, it went downhill from there. In the last quarter, two of the UIW players fouled out. Alexis Mason attacked the Cardinals. She shot seven of the 12 points from the field and eight of the 13 from the free throw, ranking up a total of 26 points. As well, Whitney West making three three-pointers and scored 17 points from taking the Wildcats to a win. In the game, I noticed Cardinals have to be more physical in the paint. They have to use their post players so they don't give up their points. In the second game, the women's team played against a and Corpus Christi Wednesday night here at UIW, and they were so close to a win falling a hair short with a score of 57-56. The Cardinals shot 39% from the field and made 5 of the 21 from three-point range, and they were 9 of the 12 at the foul line. Yvonne Mayosa finished double-double of 16 points and 10 rebounds on 6 of the 9 shooting from the field. Erica Adams added 16 points and 6 rebounds. a and Corpus Christi shot 39% from the field and made 4 of the 15 from 3-point range and were 7 of the 12 from the foul line. Brittany Mambalu led the Islanders with 15 points and 6 rebounds. Cassie Jones added 15 points and 4 steals. The key for women to dominate a win, they have to make their shots. Cardinals only made 21 of the 53 shots and made 5 of the 21 three-point attempts. Thanks, Valerie. And let's go ahead and talk about the men's variety of this game when the UIW Cardinals took on the Avalon Christian Wildcats. Now it was a good game. You know what it usually is when these old Lone Star Conference rivals get together. UIW ended up winning this one 74-60. to The leading scorer for the Wildcats in this one was Jovan Kricknick. He had 14 points. Right behind him, Jalen Franklin with 12. The dynamic freshman held well under his average, much thanks to the UIW defense. But that offense also had quite the game as well. They put up 74 in this game, and having himself quite a big one was Darrell Green. He put up, let's get this right, yeah, 22 points in this game. And right behind him, the sharpshooter from New Braunfels, Texas, Kyle Hiddle. He had 19 in this one. What really helped UIW in this one was the fact that they dominated down low in the block. They outscored the Wildcats 36 to 14. Now you see it here, Mitchell Badillo taking it to the hole. Sam Burmeister as well, taking it to the hole. And I gotta throw this one in there as well. Darrell Green and the nice turnaround jumper getting it to go for UIW. Now you, they had themselves on a wonderful game in this one. And let's go ahead and see how they fared when they went on the road to Lake Charles, Louisiana to take on the Cowboys. And this game was a close one throughout. The McNeese State Cowboys ended up taking care of business 79-76. to The leading scorer in this game for the Cowboys was Jeremiah Burr. He had 26 points and right behind him was Craig McFerrin with 14. The leading scores for the Cardinals was Mitchell Badillo with 21. Usually seen as a floor general that gets all the assists and this one got all the buckets. Right behind him was Darrell Green. He had 18 points, 8 rebounds. Two away from a double-double. That probably would have helped UIW take care of business because this game was really close. But what really hurt UIW was three different things. One of them was the fact that they shot extremely poorly in the second half. They only made eight buckets out of the 32 attempted. Not going to do a good job, especially when they're on the road in a hostile environment. Second thing what got them into trouble was the fact that Jeremiah Burr was the leading scorer, but he had 11 of those points at the free throw line. If he's getting to that free throw line, you know he's driving to the lane, getting easy buckets, drawing contact, and really causing a havoc for that UIW defense. And lastly, what really hurt UIW was the fact they got outscored in the paint, 26 to 18. We talked about how they dominated down there versus the Wildcats, and it took care of business. Here, you see it happen to them getting dominated in the paint, which led to a McNeese State victory at home. Now, they do have a chance to rebound, Valerie, who do they play this weekend in the doubleheader? Well, Chris, the Cardinals play against Nickel State here at UIW. The women's team plays at 2 o'clock. And right after them, the men's team plays at 4.30. We'll see you on Saturday, Cardinals fans. 
and we'll see you next week. Thanks for tuning in to Cardinals Hoops.